good. Hope it doesn't tip. You want me to just back up? Yeah. I keep falling. Yeah, you think you got it though? Is it good? Like. Well, in the age of online ordering, I've been waiting for this forever. Straight from China, and it's uh, it arrived today. Uh, well, it was a little, 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 little sketchy getting it off the truck, but uh, it worked out okay. What do you think? Hey, what do you think? That's a monster. Well, it's off the truck. Now let's get it unpacked. As it turned out, if you don't have a forklift on site, it is uh, a little difficult, but we ended up dragging it off. It, uh, it made it in one piece, I believe. I haven't even opened it up yet. It's pretty exciting. Um, did I mention it exciting? It's like, a, I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's like Christmas day. I, I don't know why I wanted a rock crusher. Well, I kind of did, because I bought gravel one time and I was like, that's expensive stuff. And yeah, so I'm like, why not make my own? So uh, in, the, in the spirit of only acquiring assets and avoiding liabilities at all costs, here's my rock crusher. Now I am uh, gravel independent. Is that, uh, is that a thing? All right, I'm just as excited getting the skid as I am for what's inside the skid. Because I'm looking at this wood, I'm going, this wood could be used for something else. So I'm gonna gently take it apart, carefully saving all the panels. It's kind of a little bunged up there, but I'm gonna get this thing open and let's, uh, let's have a look at this bad boy. All right, well, she's sitting a little precarious um, because it's when the guy shipped it, I guess when it landed, it, they put it on another skid and it kind of blew through that thing. They wanted to postpone the delivery to uh, another day because they said they can't get their pump truck underneath it. I'm not sure how that would have helped. They shouldn't have put it on another skid. They probably should have just uh, used the existing skid. So anyways, I'm stuck with this. So I, I think it would have been a lot easier like see these are the leveling feet which are quite substantial so ideally you would have just put these on and then and then put the wheels on um but as it sits now it's kind of like up on a it's up and it's up and a down it's kind of like it's gonna do the funky chicken so i'm just gonna watching it see what it's gonna do Those are substantial. Now my initial, you know, thoughts are, well, I don't know, you get what you pay for, right? But I'm just looking at these and like, I'm new to welding, but I don't know, I think you're supposed to chip that off before you paint. does not instill a whole lot of confidence in those, but I guess, well, you know, they were in a hurry to get it done or something. Like in, in true, you know, reuse it sort of style, I guess you can't fault them for not having a piece like that big, so they've attached this little piece here. Maybe I'll give this thing a little grind and a paint, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, it is a rock crusher. I don't think it needs to be pretty, but I'm 
surprised that fits. 12.29, should be enough. Slightly smaller than that one. Okay, it works. We got power. All right, so I just need fuel. Fuel and water. Okay, so this thing's water cooled, so you put water in here and then there's a drain thing. So we're just checking to see if the drain plug is working. So underneath here, we got our little drain plug. So if we turn that guy, it should, in theory, drain out, but it's not. So I don't know if I have it the right way now. I had it. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's flying out now. I don't know what kind of water they tested that with, but it didn't look like clean water. So now we got her. We got her flowing out. We had some really dark, gooey stuff in there. All right, I think that's good now. Okay. Jeez. Thing. That thing's awesome. What do you think of that? Chris just happened to show up right at the right at the last moment. What do you think of that? Pretty crazy. That's insane. Like, <laughs> that's that's really cool. Well, we kind of discovered right off the get go. This kind of is like a violent popcorn maker. Um, I'm probably gonna add some sort of like a shield at the top so like the stuff doesn't fire off. Cause Gord, what, what'd you find? It doesn't like these little blue rocks or green rocks. It fired it. Uh, uh, probably 10 feet across shop. You almost, you were standing off to the side. Did you know that was gonna happen, Gord? No, I didn't know that was gonna happen. That, I, well, I was told. I was told the blue rocks are really hard. I think the round blue rocks are really, really hard. I don't know, we'll, we'll probably avoid those guys. Chris is inspecting, you looking for fossils? Well, I'm looking for something I could use for a- Like a chert? Yeah, I don't know, this looks like the start of something. It does look kind of cool. It was extremely violent. That, that took like uh, that gravel there. So like a minute, a minute to make probably like 200 pounds of gravel, which is crazy cool. And I think another reason why I think it fired off that blue stone is because they, they painted it. So I don't know if that would maybe 
Maybe it's soft. I don't know. That's my theory. We got to take this thing out for a full test. I've got like a pile of rock. This, I think for like farmer's field stone and stuff like that, you just park it right next to the farmer's field stone. They got a pile of gravel. Like that's, can you see how much, that, that, that's like, it's like a minute of running. That's crazy. That's cool. I don't know why I'm so excited about gravel. The older I get, the more I appreciate a gravel base. Isn't it right, Gord? Oh yeah. yeah like look at that. It looks, it just looks like gravel. Well, it's like three-quarter stone. It's like three, is, is this like a premium stone? Three, yep. qu three-quarter crush. Yeah, good for concrete. Good for, yeah, it is good for concrete. It's good for lots of things, I think. And it's got the fines too. I think you could probably make like a, a screener deck and like you sort the fines in the sand and... I'm in the gravel business! This is crazy. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yeah, you want the angular, the angular stone locks in better. Look at that, that's like gold. In theory, if this was gold bearing ore, you'd be able to like run this through a screener now and get the gold out of it. So many, so many. This is like, I can collect firewood, I can collect stone now, holy moly. It's like a game of Settlers Catan. All right, gave you a little bit of a tour of this engine as it does not come with a user manual that I can read. Anyway, so here's a little diagram here. It shows you, you know, where to put the uh, the fuel and the water and the uh, the uh, filter for the air filter and that stuff. So it's it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, anyways, I'll give you the rundown. So this is the, the starter and uh, it's got the positive and negative that come off on here. We hooked it up to the battery. This is an old uh, John Deere battery that uh, we had from a tractor that uh, didn't make it so it still works good There's the uh, hand crank it comes with the the wheel that you can start this thing if in the event You don't have a battery. This is the throttle in the current position it is in the off position when it goes down to here It is in the full throttle position. I'm not sure what uh, that means over there. I think it's a uh, RPM like I think it says 2200 RPM, which I guess would be the max for the uh, for the thing here. This is the uh, I think that's a fuel filter. And then uh, we got our air intake with our air filter. Over here we have our mufflers which we attached. Uh, the fun fact is, is this actually broke when we torqued it on. Uh, the plastic was a little crooked. And um, this casting over here which connects to the engine also um, broke when we attached it. And I didn't give it that much of a, uh, of, of a torque. So anyways. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We've got a little sight ball here. I'm not sure what this little lever here does. Uh, maybe you guys have an idea. I think that's the disengage. So what I was doing, I was actually pushing this when I hit the starter and that it, it when I let go of it, it actually engaged. So I don't know if that's like the bypass to get the starter kind of going quick and then you let it go and then it starts. I don't know if that was the proper way to get it started, but that's the way I did it. And then up here is your uh, your coolant or water. You see, you fill this thing up with water and then it's got a little float to indicate if there's no water so that it's got water. So you wanna be sure to drain that if you've got cold weather because otherwise it freezes and I imagine it explodes. And uh, here is your diesel fuel filter. There happens to be a very convenient hook in case you wanna remove the engine. That's pretty neat. On this side, we've got a couple of really large flywheels that uh, allow the thing to kind of spin up and then keep going. And they're protected by uh, a cage. And then if you look down here, you have the business end of the crusher. These are consumable plates. So these are cast out of some sort of really hard material. We ran it for about a minute. And you can see, basically it goes back and forth, in and out and uh, it crushes the stuff so it fits down that little crack. So it's just kind of chomping. It is chewing that thing. And uh, like I said, I bought a couple of extra ones because I imagine getting these plates uh, in, uh, in Canada is not the easiest thing to get. You can see over here, you've got your flywheel with your belts. They seem to be, hopefully we can find those belts in the event that they ever break. And uh, over here, here's their spare plates, consumable plates. So if we ever need to change them, there's a set there. This particular jaw crusher came with a, uh, I guess that's not really an axle, it's more like just a straight rod with the, on the hubs of each tire there is a bearing which uh, attached to the, the shaft that goes across. There is four stabilizing legs that allow you to take the weight once you level off your machine. And uh, 
yeah so there's our there's our leveling legs there's a there's a grease fitting here so you want to make sure you grease those i haven't been able to find any other grease fittings on this machine so i'm not sure if uh if it needs it this is the the pencil hitch here which allows you to tow it and uh yeah i think that's that's it i think i, I missed something there's a fuel there's a fuel shut off right here but I think that's uh, that's it. No, underneath here, there's the uh, drain water drain valve. So you want to probably see, see the water. It's not draining. No water's coming out. There's got to be some crud in there or something. See, it's not draining, but it's full. So I was thinking, how the heck am I going to get this thing out of here? Because the tongue is over this way. And then I was like, I lowered the back legs. And look at it. It's so perfectly balanced that I can roll it. That's crazy. All right, so here's the plan is to take the pile that's over here, which is uh, like a common field stone you'd find in a, uh, you know, farmer's field. And uh, these are just, you know, they were just too big to use for something else. So I want to basically reduce them to gravel. So what I've done is I've put a plastic tote here and then I'm going to feed them in and see what happens. What I found uh, running the draw crusher up at the shop is the blue tinged rocks tend to shoot out the top. So I'm going to be aware of that and uh, not kind of be in front or the back. Hopefully my tractor is far enough away. As you can see, it's over there, but uh, we did shoot like a rock 10 feet out the top and it kind of went in that direction hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully it doesn't hit you guys all right so this is the uh the second running and i've got like this tote so the idea is to just have a nice clean gravel in this tote i can uh, put it so just test this thing out see how she goes see if she'll start up again she didn't accidentally hit that button Sh shut you guys off all right so i'm gonna run you guys hopefully we don't get a rock in the face because that would be bad news bears and uh let's get this thing warmed up So it doesn't like blue rocks very much. It uh, tends to fire them out the top. You can see it's got a little bit of the red paint on there, but otherwise like all the other little, the white stone and that stuff seems to, uh, to come out really nice. They you can see like it's like three quarter crush and this didn't take very long. It's probably like 10 minutes of actual crushing. So all I got to do is just stockpile all my stones and then I'm going to have some beautiful gravel to make all my driveways and paths thing is really cool so far. So in the future what the plan is is to actually make a trough that I can just dump these in and let the thing do its job and uh, carry on get some more field stone and just kind of rinse and repeat and then I can just have kind of like a gravel making machine. I don't have to touch it so we're just kind of we're still running it through its paces just to try to you know figure out how exactly how it works and it's always to kind of it's always good to try something to see what it needs uh, going forward because if you don't really if you've never used anything before it's it's hard to kind of see what uh, what you kind of need for it to run. So that's kind of we're gonna run another bucket through it and uh, see where we're at. It does not like this one! It's 
Okay, so the next test of this bad boy is I'm going to grind up some of this stuff. I get a lot of like odds and sods, which is like old patio pavers and uh, like interlocking stone that are all like mismatched color, weird color, like a, like a pink. Nobody likes that sort of pink. So I'm gonna see if I can crush these guys up to make usable gravel out of it. And some of this stuff, and I've got like some of these guys, which are, uh, I don't know, they're like interlock, like a kind of like a, a retaining wall sort of stuff. So I'm gonna throw that in there, see if I can make it back into its original form of useful gravel. So let's, see. let's see how this stuff fares. Another another load, but as you can see, this stuff adding up pretty darn quick. You can kind of see what we got. Awesome gravel. All right, start this thing back up and let's, uh, let's give her a whirl. You guys may notice that uh, Grant behind us has got his hard hat on. He's got safety eventually. See, there's Grant. Hi. He's, <laughs> he's just observing. This thing's pretty cool. Anyway, let's start, start this thing up. Let's get her going. I almost forgot to mention that this thing is a one cylinder diesel engine. And I don't know if that's, you know, why it needs water. So I got my Cabela's Bass Row bucket full with uh, water and there's like a reservoir in there, like a kettle. And you fill it up, it's got a little float on it and it shows you how much water is needed. And you can fill it up with creek water, tap water, whatever kind of water you have. And uh, it allows the engine to stay cold. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know much about engines, but I don't know. I guess that's normal with a single cylinder diesel engine.
you guys want one of these machines, the link will be in the description below to actually get one of these things. And if the link isn't, it's because it doesn't meet my seal of approval anymore. But as of right now, this thing is very cool. And if it does, you know, not worked the way I expect it to work, that link will not be there. So that's how you know. It's really hard to kind of adjust videos uh, after they've been released. But if there is no link, it's because I don't approve of it anymore. But if I still approve of it, the link will be down there. Be sure to check them out. Check out uh, Linda. I can't remember the company name, but uh, the link will be down there. And uh, you can get your own rock crusher because this thing is pretty cool. And if you need gravel at these increasing prices, this thing kind of allows you to be self-reliant in the gravel business because this thing is awesome.